In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Hair by Larry Graham. Check it out. Hey, I want to say thanks for joining me for this video, and really thanks for being here. There are a ton of really great electric bass um, and music in general resources on the, on the web, and if you're adding this channel to your list of resources, that's really awesome, and I want to say thank you. Now, in this video, I, I got a couple of requests uh, this, this past week. Um, asking me to do Hair by Larry Graham, but I really want to say that there are some really great um, tutorials already out there. Marlo DK did one back in 2008 that was really, really awesome. Um, but I don't think anything is going to beat watching Larry Graham, really studying Larry Graham and what he does on this song. Just watch, 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 watch until you get it. Um, and, you know, if you've done that already and you're still having trouble, you know, hey, Hey, Bliss, help a brother out, you know what I mean? So right now, I'm going to play it to the best of my ability, but again, there's no better resource than Larry Graham himself, okay? So we've got a steady stream of 16th notes, um, and it's, it's really fairly easy. I'm going to take some of the stuff out and uh, break it down bit by bit. So E. So we've got one E. And the two E and the. One thing I want to really stress is when it comes to slapping, especially if you watch how Larry slaps, you know, there's not this surgical precision in this whole thing. If you're just learning how to slap, don't be so concerned with trying to get things perfect. If you can do that, you're doing you're doing great. Okay? So start with a pluck. One E. made that sloppy so one e and the two e and the <laughs> trying to count it and say it at the same time um let me just do it without counting once again that's the that's the first two beats here's the rest of it So, D, E. D is the flat seven of E, so. Here's E. So we're going from the flat three of E, sliding into the major third, into the flat seven. So. So that's the first two measures, right? Now on the on the second measure, if you think about it as a two measure phrase, in the second measure, there's a little variation. Each time the variation is slightly different, okay? It's amazing to me that Larry Graham is able to play this and sing at the same time. It's nuts to me. So check this out. So we've got first variation that's the next variation there's E and the minor third four frets up Need a little bit of that so the, the grease the grease ain't clean the grease is not surgical the grease is 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 greasy i mean okay that's the second variation the next variation um i've heard i've heard people do it here i think since i'm i'm already here i'd rather do it there
I'm doing this like super quick because my battery is about to run down on my uh, on my laptop and I don't know where the charger is. So I'm gonna try to do this real quick. Let me see if I can get the whole thing in. So that's the basic idea. <laughs> That's the next variation. Tritone shape, you've got D flat and G up to D and G sharp. You hear that a lot. Yeah? So remember that, that, that number one, just Get your licks in, right? Don't be timid. To me, that's the way you learn how to slap. You slap till your thumb get hurt. You know what I'm saying? That's how I learned how to do it. Um, so, at least slapping in this particular style. So, um, I'm gonna play all those variations together the way that it is in the intro. Okay, so the next part that is uh, a, a key thing in there I'm doing uh, the way that I'm doing it is I'm going root fifth octave on B and then the minor third from B which is D oh, sorry I think he might do that I've always done it like this There's my A, G. Whack without the fuzz tone, but you get the idea. I'm taking all of my fingers. It's even harder trying to slow it down and show it to you, but if I were just playing this, Exaggerating with my fingernails. And then when I do it like this, I'm going and then coming back up with my fingers. That's the way that I normally gravitate towards doing it is. The last part, which is the outro, I got like 3% on my battery left. So the, the outro goes like this. Um, e, flat seven, which is D, C, 
C-sharp. Sliding up to uh, G-sharp. Notice again, I'm not I'm not trying to be all pristine and whatnot. Um, okay, the last thing I want to say is if you dig the groove shirt, you can find it at neckjack.com. Let's see where we're at. We're at three percent, three percent battery. So anyway, thanks again for checking out this video. I hope that you find it helpful. I hope that you can you know, get some of your own ideas out of this bass line. But what I really want, you, I really suggest you do is check out Larry Graham playing this as many live versions of Larry Graham as you could possibly find. Come back. I'm not an expert. If there's something that I missed out, if there's something that I did wrong, um, or, or just kind of wasn't all the way right, that's okay. However, but if there's something that, that you could shed some light on, let me know. Um, leave some comments down there in the in the, in the thing down there all right so anyway i will see you in the next one be sure to subscribe like comment subscribe I said that already uh subscribe so i can let you know when the next video comes out which will probably be next tuesday so until then peace out and two percent battery life <laughs>